if he passes McLaughlin. He's off! He made a mistake, Lions down the inside! They're gonna crash! They've hit on the way up the hill! They've broken the front left, he's out of business! Lions is out of business! A post-race pit lane penalty for car number 17 for a driving infringement. Jamie Whitcup is champion! He was clearly devastated by the end of 2017 and what happened there and he really shattered him because he knew he lost as he even calls it himself the un unlosable title. Something that we'd all dreamed about that Scott could do, we knew he had the ability to do it and we felt that the year before he was completely robbed of it. Less than 2.6 kilometres. But now it's all about this young man. The crowd's reacting. Is about to overcome the horrors of Newcastle 2017. Yeah, the Take a bow, Scott McLaughlin. Selfish to say that I certainly had some uh, water run down my eyes when I saw him coming round for that last lap. That's for sure. It was he never has experienced an emotional period like that ever again. It was something very, very special. Big celebration, big result. 365 days later. Ryan Story said it, it's redemption. Scott's in this perfect place. You can see physically, emotionally, the difference in him now to say two years ago, he's got the monkey off his back. Keep an eye out for McLaughlin because this is going to be pretty speedy and he's done a 29.5. Adding to this string of extraordinary pole positions at this location, it's been unbelievable. After winning the 2018 championship, he seemed to has risen. He's gone to a different place. That's eight pole positions in a row here at Phillip Island. I think you've got 10 of the last 14. What is it about Phillip Island and you that are just working so in sync together? Um, being a good frame of mind and, and know what you want from the car. And I feel like the last three years I've had a car that I've got everything out of it. Congratulations once again. Thank you, cheers. It took him to a new level. He's more professional, he's more relaxed. He's in a happy spot. He's in a very special place because you know, this is a year that he's going to get married, so he's found the love of his life. Certainly could see the improvement in Scott. He just seems like he's in a really good place, so it's nice to see. Love you. Love you. He's just in a great place, and we're enjoying the journey as much as what he is. I don't know if anyone's ever gone eight poles in a row at the same track, ever. Well, he's just about caught, Brocky. 52 poles yeah, now. Yeah, so he's got five to go. I think just the whole setting he's got around himself now is, is really good and he's embraced the Team Penske way, which I think initially he maybe struggled with the pressure of that in early 2017. He's come, I think, to, to work out he can still be Scott McLaughlin and be Penske as well. I think he's really struck that balance between the corporate global domination that is Penske and the kid from New Zealand that is just a knockabout, affable, outgoing personality. Come on mate, you can do this. Nothing like being here and being amongst the team and, and just, yeah, the emotions and, you know, going on the grid and especially when he's on pole. And, Come on, Scotty. It's always nice to have mum and dad around, like just like the old days, you know, when me and dad we used to go to like karting and, and together in the trailer, and, and it's just like really cool to have them around. And especially, you know, mum, mum gets nervous, and mum and dad who probably more competitive than I am. Yeah, it's got good. Scott got it, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think he got it. Yeah. Oh. He's got the white front. Oh. It's a very emotional time for us. Um, as a family, you know, you live and dream it, so, you know, you really wear it hard, you know. How's that, eh? Hey? Hey? Good boy, good. eh? Good. One, two. Ah, oh, yeah. Awesome. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the podium? Yeah, thanks, Helen. Thank you. Oh, it is. He enjoys us being here and having the family involvement with him. It's pretty special to him and it's pretty special to us. They really helped him 
get to where he is. So for him to be able to win, and even if he doesn't win, just to see their smiles, it's just so nice. Good. Hey, high five. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Come on.